Carrying out the equilibrium analysis in Hydromax involves setting up our inputs for loads from our load cases, which will define our LCG and BCG, and also defining any environmental conditions as usual, water density, waveform, etc. The results from an equilibrium analysis are a curve of cross-sectional areas for the underwater volume and the equilibrium position, and also a series of hydrostatic properties when the vessel is in equilibrium. It's also possible to define stability criteria checks uh, for the equilibrium calculation. So let's move over to Hydromax. From the analysis menu we choose equilibrium analysis mode and uh, from the analysis menu we can see that there's no analysis settings that we need to set up. The only real input is the shape of the hull from Max Surf and the load case of uh, distribution of loads that we would have defined earlier. If we wanted to change any environmental conditions, we could do so. For example, if we wanted to do an analysis in a waveform, we would be able to uh, define a waveform rather than using flat water. Also, if we wanted to change the uh, density of the seawater that we were floating in, um, float it in fresh water instead of seawater or something like that, we could change those values in the environmental setup first. The next step is to define the load case. So for my first analysis, I'm going to use the departure load case, and then I run the analysis and the vessel is sunk to its equilibrium position. We see the underwater sections, and if we go to the results window, the tabulated table of hydrostatic properties at the equilibrium condition. The graphical output from equilibrium analysis is just the curve of areas for the underwater volume. It is possible to define stability criteria uh, for equilibrium analysis. The Canadian Coast Guard is one criteria that has a, a equilibrium criteria for uh, intact stability. It has a deck edge immersion criteria. So if I turn that on and run that, then in the criteria analysis, we can see the results of that analysis and whether or not it passes or fails. This is an equilibrium analysis. If I switch to an arrival load case, I can rerun my equilibrium condition and see the slightly lighter draft that we get in the equilibrium condition at uh, arrival load case. Equilibrium condition is very straightforward. Uh, that completes our summary of this analysis mode.